This video is sponsored by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now, if you're looking to shoot cinematic video with your phone, how do you do it? How do you make your footage stand out compared to everybody else's footage that's being shot using a phone? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can shoot slow motion cinematic iPhone footage just like this. We're combining slow motion, camera movement, and a shallow depth of field to achieve this look. It's nice and easy. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video. And today I'm in these beautiful autumnal woods in the southwest of England, where I'm gonna be showing you how you can shoot cinematic footage using your phone. No fancy gimbals, no tripods or sliders, just your phone. Now I'm using the iPhone 11, but use whatever phone you have. The iPhone 11 comes with two lenses, the standard and the wide, but if you don't have the wide, then just use your standard lens. And if you're really keen, you could always pick yourself up one of these clip-on wide angle lenses. You can pick these up pretty cheap on Amazon. I will link some in the description below. In terms of camera settings, I'm gonna be shooting everything in 1080p and switching between video and slow motion mode. My aim for today is to capture all the shots needed to create a short 30 second cinematic sequence that I will show you at the end of this video. Now, if ever you're shooting a sequence of any kind, it's really important to think about an opening shot to that sequence, a shot that will best establish that sequence for your audience. Now, in this case, I want to shoot a nice, wide, establishing shot of this location so it's clear where this sequence is taking place. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch from my standard lens to my wide-angle lens. Just look at the difference between these two shots. The wide-angle lens gives us much more information. The standard is still okay. We can still see that we're in the woods, but the wide-angle sets the scene much better. Now, this is really, really important, okay? I'm going to lock my focus and exposure by tapping and holding on my focal point. I'm gonna be doing this for every single shot today. That way it prevents an exposure or focus change halfway through your shot, which just looks amateur and awful. Now, I'm gonna hit record and slowly start to walk forwards. Now, the iPhone 11 has some pretty good image stabilization, so I'm not too worried about getting a shaky shot, but I am walking heel toe, heel toe, and doing my best to avoid any shaky camera movement. Now, the reason I'm walking forward like this is because when the camera pushes forward, it implies that something is about to happen at this location, so it's perfect for an opening shot. Right, now let's talk about how we can make our footage look much more cinematic, because that was rather basic. An important shot, the opening shot, but a little basic. Now, as videographers and filmmakers, we often crave that soft focus, blurry background look to our footage, but it's not always easy to achieve that look, especially when shooting on a phone, but it is possible. With the right knowledge and the right technique, it's absolutely possible. Here's how it's done. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up the camera app on our phone. We're gonna find a focal point. Something small is best for this with plenty of distance between your focal point and the background. We're gonna select slow motion. I'm just using the standard lens for this. And we're gonna get really close. I'm talking just a few inches away. And then we're gonna tap and hold. This will lock our focus and exposure. This bit's crucial because it's what will give us that shallow depth of field look. And we're gonna hit record. And now we're just gonna orbit around our focal point like this. And then stop recording. Right, now let's play this back. And just like that, we've got our subject in crisp focus and an outer focus background. This instantly gives us a much more cinematic and professional look to our footage. Okay, now here's another technique for making your footage look much more cinematic, okay? Find a focal point. I'm just gonna use this fallen tree. Now, pay close attention to where your lens is, okay? It always sits in one of the corners. Now, I wanna get as close as I can to this branch. So rather than have my phone this way, I'm flipping it this way so my lens is nice and close to my focal point. Now I'm gonna use slow motion. This time I'm in 240 frames per second, but if you haven't got 240, just stick with 120. Now I'm gonna get nice and close to my focal point. I'm gonna tap and hold to lock my focus and exposure. I'm gonna hit record. Now this time I'm gonna pull back 
and I'm gonna move my camera forward, moving it as close to this branch as I can. And I'm gonna pull it back again like this. Now, stop recording, let's watch this back. And just like that, we've got this epic slow motion push forward with objects moving towards the camera, gradually coming into focus. Also, once you've mastered this technique, try adding a slight rotation to your camera movement. Try this pushing forwards and pulling back and use which one works best for you. Now, knowing how to move your camera and capture shots like this is relatively straightforward with a little bit of practice. You just need the knowledge. Personally, I'm always looking to learn new things and gain new skills so that I can be more creative. And this is where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online training community for creatives. It offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people just like us on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and much, much more. If you're a creative looking to learn, explore, and discover new things, then Skillshare is the place to do it. Skillshare literally has thousands of classes to help you grow as a creative. For example, if you're into mobile filmmaking, which I assume you are if you've made it this far into the tutorial, Tutorial, then the iPhone filmmaking class by Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray is an absolute must. These guys are great, really fun to watch and cover everything from what apps and gear you need to get the most cinematic footage, as well as methods of filming and the basics of transferring and editing your footage. Put simply, Skillshare helps you grow as a creative. Gain those extra skills needed to turn your hobby into a career, land the clients you've always wanted to work with, make more money and be more creative. Whatever your goal when it comes to creativity, Skillshare can help you get there. With classes to fit your schedule and skill level for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, you can binge knowledge to your heart's content. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. You've got nothing to lose. Use the link, take a class, soak up some knowledge, and get creative. Now let's talk about a few more simple camera moves that you can do with your phone to make your footage look much more cinematic. The look up, pull down. Find a focal point, anything tall will do. I'm gonna use this tree. Point your camera up, select slow motion, and pull your camera down. Keep it as close to your focal point as possible. The result, an epic looking slow motion shot with a unique perspective. Another great move for making your footage stand out. The light flicker. A surefire way to up your cinematography game is to play with light. Find a focal point that is directly in front of the sun and shoot towards it. The aim here is to reveal the sun and make it flicker. Now there are two ways of doing this. You could move your focal point, like I'm doing here, by gently moving the branch. See how the light subtly flickers through the leaves, creating these beautiful lens flares and light leaks? Or you could, of course, move your camera like I am here. Just look at that flickering light, the soft focus background, much more dramatic, but equally beautiful. The look up, rotate. A nice simple one this, find a tall subject or focal point, trees and buildings work great for this. Point your camera up, shoot wide, and slowly rotate your camera. This creates a very unusual but cinematic looking shot from a perspective not seen often. Another great way to give your footage a much more interesting look. Okay, so I now have all the footage that I need to create a short cinematic sequence. Now let's put all this footage together using music, sound effects, and color grading.
So what do you think? Pretty cinematic, right? It's totally achievable for you to do the same. Remember to experiment with this. Try slider shots, try mini jib shots with the camera lifting up to reveal your location. And this is how you capture cinematic footage using your phone. So look, I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, let me know, give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other tutorials just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.